Okay, we're going to do a tutorial on adding text in GIMP. I've already got GIMP in the up and running. So the first thing you need to do, file, new. We're going to create a new file, remember, with 700, height 500. Simply click OK. This is going to be where we paste all of our bottle cap images that we make. Alright. So first let's do simple text. Just file, new. You can keep width 700, height 500. Okay, and there's your second one. Let's come over to our color scheme. Click on it. This little wheel up here, if you click on it, there's the colors of the rainbow. Simply move and position. Just play with it till you get used to it. I want a purple. Right there looks fine. Click OK. Now let's bucket fill. Fifth row down, first tool, bucket fill. Simply come in, click. There you go, there's your purple page. Okay, we're going to add text, so let's come up here to the capital A, that is your text tool. Click on it, and there will be a little box behind it. Simply click on it to bring it to the front. That's got your font, your sizing. I want white text, so click on this toolbar. Simply click white. Your colors will be a little different, they'll change as you use them, that's why I had white up there. Click OK. Now here are your fonts. And I find it easier to come in here. Left click, hold down, and drag your box. If you see me, my box didn't come up, so I just re-clicked my text tool. Drag your box to where you need it. Simply type in what you want, your GIMP text editor right here. I'm going to click, type in Happy Easter. That way it shows you the font you're on, so click back on the thing, the text option, so you can see your font. Click on font, and you can go through until you find the one you're happy with. And as you can tell, there's quite a few, but I kind of like that one. Our sizing, simple up or down. Now the bigger size you can work with, the clearer your image is going to be. So try to make it as large as you can with, and still staying in your page. Okay, a little tip. Make sure your heightening and your analyzing are checked. If you look at the font, I'm going to click off of analyzing and you'll kind of see it. It gets fuzzy, so make sure it's clicked. Okay, remember to reposition it. Simply left click, hold down, and just move your box wherever you want it. And another tip while we're in here, if you want the Easter under the happy, simple come come back to your text editor and hit enter and it brings your Easter down to a new line. Now if you're kind of like me and have everything centered, there's unjustifying one, two, three, the third tool over is a centered button. It automatically centers it for you. If you don't like that, you can click the first one and it'll right align it. It's your preference, whatever you like. When you get it to where you like it, you need to merge down. So simply come up here to Layer and Merge Now. And now you're ready to work with it. Let's make it a bottle cap image. So Eclipse Tool, Second Tool, First Row. Simply click on it. Left click, hold down. And make your circle around the Happy Easter. Size it to 120 width as well as 120 height. Once you get it scaled, edit, cut. You can go ahead and close out this to get it out of the way. Don't save changes though. Now here's the first file that we created. Edit, paste. Make sure before you go to grab this, you click on the move tool. I'll show you what happens if you don't. That way if you do it, you don't happen to freak out. You're still on the scale tool, so it will want to scale it. Simply click on the move tool and then left click hold and move your image. Now let's say you have an image that you want to add text to. Same concept. File, but we're going to open an image this time. This will open all the images you have saved on your computer. I'm going to work with the Easter theme, so let's find something here. I'm going to work with this little ducky. So let's click Open, and it's in the back. All right there's our little ducky. Remember, text tool, 
simply draw your box. If anything's in the background, remember just click on it and bring it to the forefront. Remember, here's your color. I'm going to stick with, let's do purple, pink, excuse me, this time. Click OK. Here's our GIMP text editor where we're going to text. And I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to happy Easter. And you'll notice it's large text. That's because I didn't size it down from what I just done. But that's simple. Click on your text tool op options and sizing. Remember, left click, code, drag, wherever you need to position it at. I'm going to go about right there. Okay, when you're done, remember you have to merge it down or you won't be able to work with it. Merge down. There we go. Now let's try to make a bottle cap image out of this. Eclipse tool, second tool, first row. Left click, hold down, and drag your circle around your image and your text. When you get it positioned where you want, simply click scale. Fourth tool, excuse me, first tool, fourth row. Click inside the eclipse tool and remember width 120 as well as height 120. Scale. Change your tool to the move tool. Just simply click on it. Edit. Cut. Let's close out this, but do not save changes. And edit. Paste. Now, if you watch my other tutorial, you'll see that the image looks like it's not on there, the first one, that it's covered it up. And it's exactly done that. It's covered it up. So left click, hold down, and simply scoot over. Now remember, this can hold 15 images. It's meant to be printed on a 4x6 photo paper. And for time's sake, let's just go ahead and re review how to save these files. Save as. And I'm going to keep it simple. Happy Easter. Now remember, you need to change this format to JPEG. And you can simply do that by coming down here and select File Types by Extension and find it. Or you can just add your period and then add JPG to your file name. Click Save. You need to export it. And your quality at 100. Save. And there you go. And I... Uh, Again, thank you for watching, and remember the easiest way to print, do not print from GIMP, the easiest way to print is from my pictures, and before you print, just change your preferences to photo printing, and enjoy, and thank you for watching.